Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Let's Play Minecraft. Thank you so much for all of your lovely support in the last episode, reaching over 1,500 likes once again. Of course, if you want to continue showing your support for the series, the easiest and best way to do so is simply to drop a like. But of course, if you guys do want to go on further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So, do you know what, ladies and gents? I think today we are going to explore the ocean. That is right. We've got Got ourselves a bunch of doors in case we do come across an ocean monument. We can go ahead and take it out the game. But of course, failing that, we can also go ahead and raid a bunch of shipwrecks and do a bunch of treasure map hunting and all that kind of good stuff as well. The bottom line is we're going to come back to this house at the end of today's episode with a whole bunch more gear. I think probably the only bit of prep work I'm going to do is making night vis potions and strength potions. And those two combined should be enough to keep us alive and more to the point be able to see underwater oh well this is a turn up isn't it we got one of these little trident dudes it would be amazing if we could get a trident it has been so long literally years since i've gotten myself a brand new trident so I don't know, man. If we can get one today, that would be rather marvellous, actually. But don't worry, it's not like a solid goal of ours to go for a trident. It would just be amazing if we could manage to get one, because that would mean we could take down Guardians a little bit easier. Alrighty, so beginning here with some 8-minute night vis potions. That'll give us a grand total of 24 minutes worth of night vision, which is awesome. Hey, look at that. Getting advancements as we go as well. And here we go. We're going to have ourselves a bunch of strength 2 potions, given us a grand total of six additional attack damage if we can get sharpness on this sword here then we are going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage towards guardians it would be incredible if we could get that kind of luck we do have 30 levels we're going to enchant this sword shortly but sadly sharpness isn't guaranteed on this thing so if we're lucky and so happen to get it then that would be kind of incredible before we do anything though i would very much like to get rid of this rain oh and uh yeah the invasion is very much taking place. There is going to come a point eventually where we won't even be able to walk around inside our house here, guys. It's going to get absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, look at this. We keep getting eggs coming out the wazoo. Jeez. So after doing a dud enchant here, ladies and gentlemen, and get myself back up to 30 levels, check it out. It only took one cycle of enchants to get this to come up. Sharpness four. Boom. Oh, no way, dude. <laughs> Oh, the only thing that would make this even more ideal is if it had Unbreaking 3 on it. But come on, that is marvellous. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to be wondering why I'm not going into this with diamond armor. And that's because what I usually try and do is I try to enchant a whole bunch of diamond armor before I actually put it on. So at some point in the not too distant future, we're probably going to wind up making a full set of diamond armor and then trying to get ourselves up to 30 levels a whole bunch of times over so we can get it enchanted. And then, yeah, we will upgrade up to diamond in terms of what we're wearing. But hopefully for now, our ability to survive that combined with this iron armor here should hopefully do the job in keeping us alive. So, as far as I can remember, if we head north, we will wind up finding an ocean, the same one that has that abandoned portal nearby. So, yeah, I'm hoping we'll find ourselves at least a little something-something inside of the ocean. All right, guys, remember for me, remember that this horse is here, okay? Because, as you guys know, my memory is probably worse than that of a goldfish, so... Yeah. Anyways, we're on our boat here and it's time to go adventuring. I do love a nice adventure episode every now and again, my friend. It's just a nice chill exploration episode. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is actually not far away from our base whatsoever. Wow. Okay. Turns out we do in fact have a guardian temple right here. And I'm pretty chuffed about that. We could go ahead and get our buffs on us right now. We probably don't need the hoe on us right now. And we probably don't need the axe on us right now. Yeah. All right. Are we ready for this bad boy? I think we're ready for this bad boy. So let's go ahead and get ourselves off our boat here. Let's take ourselves the night vis potion. Oh my goodness. I can see the whole world. And yeah, let's do this thing, my friendos. Unfortunately, we do not have Depth Strider going on. But you know what? I don't think that's too much of a hassle. All right, 
We are in. At the very least, we are in. So what we need to do, my friends, is continuously put down these here doors. And that is going to grant us an air pocket, right? So as long as we keep track of where our doors are, we should be kind of all right. Oh my goodness. There is an Elder Guardian right there. So uh, we've got to be kind of careful. Oh my goodness me. He literally does half my entire health. In terms of damage. Ooh, we gotta be real careful here, my friendos. Oh, yeah, and also uh, place down a door, ideally. I'm not drowning and I'm not getting pwned by an Elder Guardian, okay? Boom, get wrecked. Oh, oh, goodness me, there goes a whole bunch more of my health. Ah, oh, the lacking of Depth Strider is definitely coming into effect here. Look at that. He's like over the entire other side now. He's trying to stay out of my way, huh? Trying to stay away from the reach of my sword? Well, I'll tell you what. It didn't work out, did it, son? Because you are slightly dead now. So, you know, suck on that. <laughs> We've got two more of these Elder Guardians to take down. And then we should be able to get rid of the mining fatigue there. So, time to continue exploring, my friendos. We need to try to find ourselves the other Elder Guardians. Oh, there's the gold rim. Oh, nice. It turns out we have a sponge rim in here. That is big, dude. So, yeah, the priority goal right now is just to find and kill the Elder Guardians, really. All right, come on, Minecraft. Where is this guy? Oh, goodness me, he's right there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Careful, careful, Python Edit, careful. Right, uh, question. How are we going to do this safely, huh? Uh, with great difficulty, I would say. <laughs> as long as we don't get hit... By the Elder Guardian, I think we might be kind of okay. All right, nomming on potatoes underwater. It's a surprise that they're not soggy potatoes. Oh, goodness me. Nope. No, no, no. You're not killing me, sir. Uh, should I take another strength potion? I feel like that might actually be a good idea right about now. The quicker we could take these guys out, the better things are going to be. All right, so boom. Okay, boom. Okay. No, you don't. Oh, I almost took a bulk of damage there. Boom. Okay, boom, yeah, got him. All right, that's two out of three now, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, no, no, don't drown. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. <laughs> These are the dangers you get yourself into when you are going for a guardian temple when you're not necessarily 100% prepared. Bed. You gotta watch out for your breath meter. And yeah, you gotta be careful of the little death rays from these guys because they are devastating, my friendos. Come on, Ocean Temple. Where's the final of your elders, huh? Well, that's peculiar. There is a magma block here. We can get ourselves free breath, guys. <laughs> So then, back to business. We've got a strength potion. The final Elder Guardian should be around here. It's usually in this room. Come on, Elder. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's not a very good location. Uh, right. I have an idea. We make ourselves like a safety wall, right? <laughs> this is so weird. We make ourselves a safety wall, and then we try to get ourselves closer <laughs> don't die. Don't die. Goodness me. Okay. And then we try to pummel him <laughs> as much as we can anyway. <laughs> no, no, no little baby. Duh, you're not killing me. None of you guys are killing me. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to fix here. I need to get myself a little bit of breath. Oh, goodness me. Ah, oh, I might be dead here. Okay. Uh... What do I do here? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, goodness me. This is actually starting to get a little bit tense here. No, 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 no more. No more guardians. No more. Right. Uh, so you're literally there. Okay. The safety wall idea is working, mostly. <laughs> You really don't want to die, huh? That final Elder Guardian is finally dead. And that means when this mining fatigue runs out, it should actually run out. Yeah. Be gone, mining fatigue. Yeah, it is gone as well. All right. It's official. We have taken down all of the Elder Guardians within this temple. Now we get to reap the rewards. Sponge 
gold blocks as well. I'm excited. I like doing episodes like this, where it's almost like we do like a, a themed exploration episode. Like today, we're doing very much a piratey ocean type exploration episode. But on other occasions, we could do maybe a nether exploration episode, maybe a caving exploration episode. You know, it's just fun. It's just fun. It gives you something to do at the end of the day, doesn't it? All right, let's see if we can get to the gold blocks here. There we are. Yeah, and we should be able to drain a little bit of water out of here as well. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, eventually, we might wind up going ahead and converting this into a guardian farm. And why would you want to make a guardian farm? Well, there's a few reasons, actually. First of all, the prismarine group of building blocks are actually very nice. And you've got slabs and stair variants for pretty much everything here. We've got sea lanterns as well. One of the greatest looking light source blocks in the game. We've also got the fact that guardians actually give double the XP compared to normal mobs. Most normal mobs will give about 5 XP points, but guardians give 10. Same as blazes. So that's why people usually wind up making guardian farms and blaze farms in particular for the XP gain. So there we have it, my friends. We've got out safe and sound. We've still got some night vis potion left. So I tell you what, let's make the most of it and continue to explore here. There does appear to be a shipwreck over here. So I am going to go ahead and pillage it. Maybe we find a treasure map inside of it, huh? Maybe some treasure itself is resolved inside of that ship. All right, let's pop ourselves down here and have a quick little look-see. Uh, okay, we've got bamboo and coal. Interesting choice of loot, but loot it is. Unfortunately, because this is only half a shipwreck, I do not believe that there's going to be any other chests here, which is unfortunate, but hey-ho, this does seem to be a pretty reasonably sized ocean, so I'm imagining there might be some more shipwrecks dotted around the place. So like I say, let's make the most out of this night vision and just sort of scour the ocean floor here for any goodies that it might be around. So yeah, in terms of coordinates, negative 170, negative 720 is around where this ocean monument is. So yeah, only a few hundred blocks away from our base. Oh, okay. Ocean ruins. I always forget that these are a thing and you can indeed get some cool stuff from these things. You know, treasure maps, you can get them from these places too. So let's see what we can do here, huh? Oh, here we go. Now things are getting tasty. Let's see if we can get a trident, huh? I must admit, I don't actually know what the drop chances are of a trident from a drowned with looting. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't get one there. I mean, that was only really the second trident guy we found in today's episode. So, I mean, it would have been incredibly lucky if we did manage to get one. But hey, hey, we are in an ocean. There's plenty more chances to be had. So, yeah, I'm not too fussed, my friends. All right, now that we've taken care of the residents, we can start reaping the rewards, baby. Let's do it. What do we got here? We got ourselves a treasure map anywhere? Uh, Curse of Vanishing? Ha! <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Is Minecraft having a joke with us right now? Hmm? Because I am not okay with Curse of Vanishing. That can go ahead and Curse of Vanish itself. That was only the first structure. Let's go ahead and check out some of the other structures down here, huh? Right, where's the chest in here? All right, we have ourselves Unbreaking 1, a whole bunch more coal. And believe it or not, I'm actually pretty happy about the fact that there's coal here because, well, I don't have a great deal of coal back at base, so... Yeah. As much as Unbreaking 1 is kind of alright on a fishing rod, I would very much prefer to have something that's perhaps got, oh, I don't know, Lure 3, Luck of the Sea 3. That'd be pretty epic. Alright, what do we have in this structure? And more to the point, where's the chest? Oh, there it is. Alright, it's got a block on top of it, so let's mine it out. Unbreaking 2, I mean, yeah, it's better than Unbreaking 1. Alrighty, looks like we've got one final structure here. Come on, baby. A treasure map or a decent fishing rod. Come on, what have we got here? Okay, neither of those things. Ah, well, let's continue exploring again. Let's make the most of this night vision here and see what we can find. I just realized, guys, I totally should have brought my parrot with me, huh? Ah, mistakes were made. Opportunities were missed, guys. We should have brought our parrots with us. If we're going to be a pirate, we need to go full pirate. Oh, wow, a singular structure by itself. Eh, unfortunately, it doesn't really have too great of loot either. Lure 1 is 
kind of alright, I won't lie. But again, Lure 3, Luck of the Sea 3, that'd be pretty freaking sweet. And unfortunately, our night vision has worn off. Ah, sad times, my friends, sad times. Well, at this point, we've just got to kind of get lucky, I guess. I think I can see a structure over here underwater. There's like a big dark structure. I'm hoping that it's a shipwreck. Oh, it looks like it. And the best thing is, I think it's a full one as well. So we should wind up with a bunch of treasure, a treasure map, and some various other bits of bobs as well. All right. So in this chest, we have moss and suspicious stews. Inside of the map chest, which is just down here, we have a book. There's the buried treasure map. Amazing. I will take the books just because I kind of like them, and we will definitely take the buried treasure map as well. Oh, I just came to the realization that we've got a whole bunch of water bottles here, and I could easily stack them up just by drinking all of these and then stacking them up. Honestly, man, is there actually something wrong with me? <laughs> There we are. Look at all that inventory space, eh? All right, the real question is what are we going to have inside of the treasure chest here? Oh, nice. There's actually a diamond in here. Ah, oh, cool, dude. I wonder if that's going to be an omen as to how lucky the treasure inside of this chest is going to be, huh? We need to go west, which is this way, actually. Already facing the correct direction. You'd love to see it. Come on, Minecraft. The pirate pythonator is hungry for some loot. Oh, hey, look at that. There's like a beached shipwreck on this little island coming up. And also, it looks like we're getting kind of close to the treasure chest. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, there's turtles here. Dude, oh, there's a village as well. Oh, you know what we should do right now, guys? Because we now have Silk Touch on an axe here, there is no reason, no reason at all, why we can't go ahead and get ourselves some turtle eggs and maybe start a little turtle hatchery somewhere. All right, seagrass obtained. We've got these two fellas right here. Go do your little making love thingy. Come on, turtle buddy. Give me some eggies. Come on, I want to get them. Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I gotta grab these eggs. Looks like there's four of them as well. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. We got our first turtle eggs of the series. Well, my shield just expired, so I guess we're gonna have to do a little something something about that, you know what I'm saying? We grab ourselves a crafting table here. I'm so glad that I bought wood with me, because otherwise I would have been a little bit screwed. But here we are, being prepared and not being screwed as a result. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, now then, where is this treasure? It's just off the island on the west side here. All right, should be right around here, right? I mean, yep, there it is. Yeah, never takes me long, guys. Never takes me long. <laughs> look at all the emeralds in there. I mean, look at that. There's 18 of them. How amazing is that? My goodness me, my inventory situation is looking rather dire, it has to be said. I would totally go ahead and combine these fishing rods together, but I don't have an anvil on me right now. Maybe in future, that's what I should do on exploration sessions. Bring an anvil with me. All right, there we are. Treasure obtained. Now, the question is... Is, what are we going to have inside of this beached shipwreck here? Hmm. Here we are. There's a chest right there. We've got some more coal. That's actually really cool. I'm pretty glad that we managed to get all this coal today. Uh, Frostwalker one, pumpkin. Eh, we don't really need any of this stuff. Not really. But I don't know. There could be another chest in here. If I was to do a little bit of digging... Maybe we will unearth another chest? Eh, unfortunately not, ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe there's any more chests around here. I'm just sort of digging around to see if I can prove myself wrong. Yeah, unfortunately not, guys. Ah, well, doesn't matter. We've still managed to get a good amount of stuff in today's episode. Uh, I mean, I certainly can't complain. So the final thing we'll do in this exploration session today is quickly go check out that village just because, you know, it's there. So why wouldn't I? Yeah. All right, fellas, what do we have going on here? A bunch of bread, a bunch of uh, grass. That's a strange loot item, but hey-ho. All right. What else do we have? Oh, hey, another brewing stand. Ah, uh, you see, I would totally go ahead and take all this stuff right now, but my inventory situation is just so bad. If there's anything that's like super wildly valuable, then yeah, I will try to make room for it. 
Grindstone. Yeah, we've got grindstones back at base. We don't need to worry about that. We've got bells back at base as well. We've got ourselves a blacksmith house by the looks of it. Very, very nice. Where's the chest? There it is. Hey, obsidian. Uh, yeah. All right. That's kind of awesome. We'll leave the fish behind there. What else do we have to pillage here? Huh? We've got this house, which has nothing in it. We've got this house here, which has uh, nothing in it. This house also has nothing in it, as does this one by the looks of it. Goodness me, these guys are so poor. How about a chest or two for your boy to rob, eh? Gosh, so inconsiderate, these villagers. I mean, if you're gonna make the effort to generate a village here, at least give me something to rob, huh? Oh, hey, some maps. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. We've got plenty of moss back at base, so yeah, I'll take the empty maps in place of that. And if I was a betting man, I'd say there's nothing in here either. Ah, goodness me. So inconsiderate, man. Like, come on, give me some stuff to rob, huh? I mean, there's not even any animals to kill up here either. Ah, goodness me. What an unfruitful village. All right, all right. I think it's home time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to push things too far, my friendo. So yeah, let's go home, shall we? Let's go grab our horse and let's get ourselves home. We have not done too bad today, huh? It has to be said, though, there's still a large part of me that wants to try to get myself a trident because it really has been a long time since I've had one. And I just want to have one, dudes. I just want one. I think the best chance of having drowned spawn is if we were, like, right out in the middle of the open ocean. So there's no chances for any mobs to spawn on the surface. Now, obviously, there's going to be a bunch of dudes spawning underground, but that's neither here nor there, really. Oh, hey! Is that an abandoned portal frame? I do believe it is. If this has an enchanted gold apple in it, then that is going to be the absolute icing on the epic loot cake. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, never mind. i tell you what I will take, though. A magma block. Because then we essentially have the ability to breathe underwater so long as we keep our magma block on our hotbar here. All right, got some more coal and another buried treasure map. Interesting. I wonder... If it's going to be a fresh new one. The thing that's making me think that this is the exact same map is if you look on the bottom left corner of the map, it's the exact same splodge, right? So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead on a limb and say that that's actually a duplicate of the one that we've already got. Ah, well, never mind. Let's see if we can get some more drowned to spawn in, eh? So, probably the easiest way of spotting drowned in the nighttime, especially, is to do F3 and B and bring up the hitboxes. The drowned have a very tall and narrow hitbox. So, if we just go out into the ocean here and look along the ground, we should hopefully be able to spot a drowned in not too long an amount of of time. In fact, there is indeed one down there. I did just spot that other ocean temple as well there though, but we're not going to go and explore that today. We don't want to push things too far, but yeah, I do want to try to get a trident. I really do. And hey, we just hit 30 levels, so if we do manage to get one, we could always enchant it. I think one of the problems I have with the drowned in this game is they just don't spawn enough. I feel like there was one point in the past where they spawned way more often and were way more of a threat when it came to ocean exploring, and it just seems to me that there just isn't a lot of guys spawning here anymore. Like, I don't know, maybe you have to be in the deep ocean variants to get them to spawn a bit more often. I don't really know. Oh, snappers. All right, I think we've got another portal frame here, and I think it's different. What do we got? Uh, silk touch. Uh, okay. And uh, not a great deal of anything else. Eh. Oh, you got a fishing rod, have you? What are you trying to do? Reel me in? <laughs> <laughs> Not today, son. Not today. Right, now where are your trident-yielding cousins, eh? Huh? I need them to spawn in. I think, honestly, at one point, I'd like to try to make a trident farm or a drowned farm at the very least. But, of course, if I want to do that, it means I need to go ahead and light up all of the caves around here. Otherwise, I am going to get next to zero rates with it. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bigger project than you might think. Hello! How's it hanging, buddy? Yeah! There we are. Yeah! Come on. If you drop this trident, I'm going to love you. Ah! 
Never mind. All right, I won't give this too much longer because I do need to get this episode out to you guys. I apologize in advance if this episode winds up being a little bit late today, but yeah, you know why now? Because trident farming is very, very annoying and difficult and long-winded if you're unlucky. I just realized something else, guys. Probably the best place I can think of to set up a trident farm would be next to a mushroom island, right? Because no hostile mobs ever spawn on or even underneath a mushroom island. So if you were to go ahead and cannibalize the ocean nearby it, you should get higher spawn rates, right? Whoa! Aren't these guys like super rare? The ones that also have a shell? Look at this guy. Wow. Okay, if he gives me a trident, I'm going to be so happy. Boom! <gasps> he did! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yes! Yes! The hunt is over, ladies and gentlemen! The hunt is over! Goodness me! I never thought I'd see the end of the grind here, guys. All right. Bye-bye, magma block. Oh, look at it! We got one! <laughs> We got to try it, dude. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I am absolutely chuffed about that. I wasn't actually expecting to get it today, but here we are. Yeah. Hey there, horsey. Yay. I remembered myself that the horse was there. <laughs> I like it when my memory works. Alrighty, guys. A couple of things to check. Number one, can I go ahead and repair the... Oh, goodness me. No, I can't. So this means I do indeed need mending on this thing to get it back up to scratch. Or a second trident, of course. But uh, quite frankly, I cannot be bothered to go for a second trident because it took long enough to get this one here. But what we can do for now is go ahead and enchant this thing and see what we get. Oh, channeling. Hey, if we wanted to try and get mob heads, this would be the way to go, wouldn't it? Oh. But to be honest, a lot of me is also wanting to just have impaling five on it, so we do a ridiculous amount of damage against guardians. So when it does come to us doing a guardian farm, we can take down any guardians that are around with absolute ease. So the choice really is channeling or we gamble and see if we can get Impaling 5 to come up next. Do you know what? For once, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Leave your choices in the comments area down below. And whichever one has the highest amount of thumbs up, I'll go ahead and do. So to finish off, of course, we do have the comment of the day here. Daniel Arnold says, good consistency here, Python. Quick suggestion, using powdered snow in your skeleton farm will turn them into strays, which give more loot and more XP. Now, I have actually done a little bit of testing and it actually turns out they do not give more XP. The only reason a skeleton or a stray would give more XP is because they have some form of gear on. Maybe an enchanted bow, maybe some armor on them. But yes, yeah, strays give exactly the same amount of XP as skeletons. But yeah, they do give more loot and to be honest, that reason alone would be more than enough for me to go ahead and do exactly that. So I'll tell you what, beginning the next episode, we'll go ahead, we'll get ourselves some powdered snow and we'll convert our skeleton farm into a stray farm. How does that sound? As for the consistency, thank you so much for the kind words there, buddy. Yeah, I do try to upload every couple days, maybe every three days maximum on this channel. And I hope that that is going to be a trend that continues forever more, my friends. Because, yeah, it gives me a little bit of time between episodes to go ahead and maintain my other channels as well. Which is the primary reason why the uploads are every other day or every other three days. So, yeah, hopefully that's okay with you guys. But anyway. For now, though, my friends, it is time to wrap up the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode where I have been a pirate pythonator, then please do be sure, of course, to drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.